Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we're doing Hall of Fame wide receiver Tim Brown of the Oakland slash Los Angeles Raiders. And this player was a suggestion by a viewer, so again, feel free to leave any comments down below, and I will add that particular player to the list of players to do for my Madden player creation tutorial videos. So, going, in, going on into Tim Brown and his entire career, it's kind of incredible that he's not really discussed a lot when you talk about the greatest receivers ever in NFL history. We all know about Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, Terrell Owens, um, and those types of players. But when you talk about guys with incredible numbers, Tim Brown really should come up uh, in that discussion. Top 10 all-time in NFL history in both NFL career receiving yards and NFL career receiving touchdowns. Um, and NFL uh, career receiving touchdowns was tied ninth with uh, Steve Largent with 100 receiving touchdowns and 6th all-time in career receiving yards with 14,934. And some argue that if Tim Brown hadn't gotten uh, hurt earlier in his career that he would have even uh, put up more numbers. So um, that's just another thing throwing, out, throwing that out there. But uh, when you talk about some of the records he's got, I mean, there's really a ton of them. Uh, two quick notable ones is the fact that he was the first ever receiver to uh, win the Heisman Trophy ever as a receiver. Um, and actually holds the NFL record with 10 consecutive seasons with at least 75 receptions, which is kind of crazy to think about uh, that he hasn't, you know, had that record tied with anybody. Um, that's just how consistent of a player he was, you know, clearly. Uh, but Tim Brown in Madden actually was in Madden 17 ultimate team this year which is kind of crazy to think about because i feel like a guy like this usually isn't in the game but uh and i haven't seen him in the game ever since you know i always tell people this i, I basically started doing ultimate team madden 25 so uh in the past three or four years he has yet to be in the game but last year made his basically ultimate team debut if you will so uh also known as a punt returner and was good at that in the beginning of his career for sure and, and that's kind of an interesting point as well and that's why i boost some particular stats later on as you'll see when i get to the ratings um only had one kick return touchdown but uh, wasn't really a kick returner in his career more of a punt returner uh three career punt return touchdowns so not that bad in that area i boost the heck out of his punt return um level because in college he was also uh, you know good at it but uh you can again the ratings we'll get into that later and that's just completely subjective uh but nine time pro bowler also made the nfl uh 1990s decade team which is pretty impressive and, um, you know, obviously we, we, we already established that he was a Hall of Famer and a two-time first-team All-Pro player with over 1,000 career receptions. So, um, really, this guy has just, you know, incredible numbers. And it's funny, when you talk about players who really were part of uh, winning teams, he just, he never really was, unfortunately for him, uh, caught in a little bit of a uh, unfortunate, you know, that's probably the big, one of the bigger knocks on Tim Brown is that uh, come playoff time, he just... Not only was you know he not never really part of any teams that were great, um, but he just he never really performed uh, incredibly. I wish as to say in in some playoff games. I mean he he just really never got far enough. It it, it seemed like um, a lot of criticism has been thrown towards the quarterbacks that he's had throughout his career and them not being quite good enough. So you have to take that into consideration when you were kind of ranking him as one of the top receivers ever. But uh, it's funny when I before I even did research on Tim Brown. Um, I, I just throughout you know a couple of years of just learning about him and, and learning you know the game of football. Uh, you don't. I never really thought of Tim Brown as a guy that could really you know was really up there with the, with the greats, and he really is up there. Uh, I mean, his numbers are really just incredible, and in how effective of a player he really was. Um, so that's just something that uh, I just never really knew. I never knew how great of a player he really was. Um, and quickly, just going over the equipment, I kind of passed it over and let you guys just watch it. But uh, I think it actually looks pretty close to uh, how Tim Brown, you know, wore. He, the elbow pads aren't exactly authentic. He usually has the inside covered, but they don't have that option in the game. You got the, you got the double bar face mask. And then I like the nice uh, old-fashioned cleats that they got going right there. That's always a good option to add. And the 95 kick slash punt return rating, definitely exaggerated. I definitely uh, <clears throat> boost some of his uh, particular ratings a little bit too much. You can just look at Ultimate Team page if you really want a Madden rating of him and exactly what you want there. But I kind of boost it up just to make it more fun if you ever want to use the player in-game for whatever reason uh, or however you want to use these players. But uh, I boost them up. 
pretty much all of his uh, ratings up a little bit. So just take that into consideration uh, when you're creating him. But thanks for the suggestion by the viewer. I, again, I'm going to continue to take in requests and uh, make these players for you guys. But that actually will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorials. Definitely, obviously, going to continue to try and uh, finish these out. I got a, a lot more to do, obviously, and that's just going to continue on. Um, but it's a good deal we got going here. So once again, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.